What is up everybody, you got served here and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the zombie eating bow and arrow or also known as the purple bow and arrow. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up this castle entrance gate right here and right above it is going to be a purple insignia and then once you pick up this arrow you're going to hear a voice that says this. So the next step is going to require you to run over to this courtyard area and what you're going to have to do is look over at this room and there's going to be a purple square on the ground. So what you guys have to do now is knife a zombie on top of that purple square like exactly on top of it and that will break open that purple square and then a vase will pop up, hit the action button on that and you can proceed to the next step. So this is how I did it, I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I did it a very early round so it was super easy to do, it just took three knives. So there's one and two. I'm going to run over here and wait till it gets right on top of that square. Hit knife and as you can see, uh, the ground exploded. Hit action on the vase. And then this will activate the next step. The next step will require you to pick up six different skulls. You do not have to pick up these skulls in any order, but uh, I'm just going to play the video and just follow along and pick up each of the skulls where I do. The next skull I picked up is over here in Samantha's room in a toy chest. Now, you do again, you do not have to do this in the order that I'm doing it in. The next one I picked up is over by Mule Kick, right over this broken wall. The next one I picked up is over by Double Tap, right on this wall. The next one I picked up is in the teleporter room in the sink right there. And then the last one's in the rocket pad right at the end of the bed of this truck. Alright, so once you completed getting all six skulls, go ahead and make your way back over to the vase, and he's going to tell you that you need to sacrifice souls. Well, basically all you have to do is bring crawlers into that circle, and as you can see, I have five, you need six crawlers. So, uh, you're going to watch me fail real fast. I tried to get these two, one of them at least a crawler, and I kind of messed up and killed... Uh, all the zombies in the back so um what you have to do is get six crawlers in here and then you just have to put them in the circle like I'm showing you right now and as you can see this crawler is gonna go ahead and get in the circle and what's gonna happen is the skulls are gonna start attacking him and he's gonna end up killing him you need to do this six times with six different zombies so this is gonna be my last crawler and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what happens and what you need to listen for so I'm gonna bring my last crawler in here and then I'm going to turn the volume up and you guys should hear the guy speak three different words, memorize these words. So you just heard him say crown, stag, and heart. These words are referring to pictures in the power room that are represented by a symbol just like that. So that is going to be the symbol for horn. This is going to be the symbol for crown. And that's one. Of, that's my very first one. Crown, stag, and heart is what I'm looking for at this moment in time. And this is griffin. This is the griffin symbol. I'm showing you guys every single location and every single symbol. So this is going to be the symbol for heart. And then I'm going to come over here right now and show you guys the symbol for door right when I juke out the zombie. I don't, oh, and then this is going to be the symbol for door. And then this last one over here, which is at the end of the hallway, is going to be stag. The next step, you guys will have to be killing zombies and they will start dropping the pink symbols just like the ones we just saw right now. So... When you kill them, they're going to be dropping the pink symbols, and you can do this one of two ways. You can either collect all six symbols, or you can only collect the three that the guy spoke to you. So you can either, mine was crown, stag, and heart. I can just only collect crown, stag, and heart symbols, or I can collect all six. It's up to you guys how you want to do this, but this will be the next step. So once you've collected all six symbols, or just the three that you need, whip out your Wrath of the Ancients, go in this room, and he's going to ask what his name is. So I ended up dying, and that this is a new game, and the things that I got was Horn, Stag, and Crown. So the first one I shot was the Horn symbol, the second one I shot was the Stag symbol, and this last one I just hit was the Crown symbol. And he's going to say, that is my name. So once he does this, the room's going to have an animation go on, 
and then he's pretty much gonna go explode and then he that will get you your reforged arrow so wait just a couple of seconds and then go ahead and pick that up when it's ready and you can move on to the final step So once you've picked up your arrow, go ahead and go down to the Keeper Ritual and go ahead and place your arrow in the box and that will start the final step which is charging up your arrow with Zombie Souls. Once you've completed charging up your arrow, go ahead and whip out the Wrath of the Ancients, hit square on the arrow, and there you guys go, you have got the zombie eating bow and arrow, or the purple one. I don't really know what to call it, but I think it's the zombie eating one because when you shoot it, it will one, shoot a big portal and then skulls will come out, much like the ones you just picked up, and start chomping on zombies and eating them just like they did to the crawlers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more content, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.